may be proving instructive to every German who still believes in war. First pictures of the Battle of Iwo, that small but vital island in the Bonin group between six and seven hundred miles from Tokyo. For 72 days before the landings were made, American planes had been bombing the heavily fortified base, which, though only eight square miles in extent, contained two airfields near the dominating heights of Mount Surabachi, a 500-foot volcano. And 72 days of bombing aren't carried through without accidents and losses. Somehow the pilot escaped and got clear. He was soon picked up and transferred to another ship. But the softening up process wasn't confined to bombing. Ten separate times the Navy, with battleships and a variety of smaller warships, struck at Iwo. Three day nights of pounding from the sea preceded the landings. Then D-Day itself brought 800 ships and thousands of small landing craft to the shores of the island, which was defended by thousands of Japs, every one of whom was prepared to die for his emperor. Marines of the 4th and 5th Divisions, the first of some 40,000 men, went in towards the beaches under covering fire from their own ships, but also under heavy fire from Japanese batteries in well-concealed rocky positions on the volcanic island. Japs had spent years fortifying Iwo Jima, for as distance goes in the Pacific, it lies right on Japan's doorstep. Casualties were heavy. 2,000 Marines gave their lives in storming the beaches and advancing towards the first of the airstrips. Through the slit of a tank, one of the cameramen recorded this picture of the attack on Motoyama airfield, the infantry advancing with tanks in support and flame-throwing tanks mopping up pillboxes. There goes a Jap, crawling to cover for the last time. At the end of the second day's fighting, the Marines struck right across the island, cutting through the Jap lines. Transports lying offshore had the somewhat rare experience of receiving prisoners on board, but they were scarce. In two weeks' fighting, only 85 surrendered, and half of them were Korean slaves of the Japs. The Battle of Iwo Jima has been described by a Marine general as the toughest in the 168 years of Marine Corps history. But in spite of the ferocity of the fighting and the enormous difficulties of supply, the battle was won. Since then, the Japanese warlords have been holding one emergency conference after another, for their enemies are on their doorstep.